guys, it's the Wasteland Girl Detective, and I am here with another Fallout 76 uh, guide. This week, I'm talking about scavenger traders, and if you look at these lovely outfits here, the hunter's long coat, the longshoreman outfit, winter jacket and jeans, we won't talk about nuclear winter, but if you've ever seen these and wondered where to find them, I'm here to help you out. Uh, the other kind of rare item that you can find um, with the scavenger traders is a miscellaneous item called a bobby pin box. This isn't like the regular bobby pin boxes that you find because this one can be displayed. So it's kind of a cool find. Um, and I'm just going to show you a few spots that I like to farm for scavenger traders. There's a, there's a lot of places that they can spawn on the map. But um, these ones I'm going to show you are ones that are relatively like quick to access from fast travel points. And so I just think they're the best for farming. Um, and when you hit these spots, you can find your scavenger traders. You can find um, uh, other people too. So if you go to these spots, it's not always going to be a scavenger trader that spawns. Hopefully it is. You can find some of these other guys too. Sometimes good guys, sometimes uh, useless guys like the scientists. And I'm looking at you, Felton Reed. But uh, here we go. Just an FYI, I sell these items anywhere from 5K to 10K caps. The Hunter's Long Coat can fetch a little bit more. So the first place I always hit is Lost Home. Um, I tend to have more success at different times with finding... Uh, uh, what I'm looking for, the scavenger trader, not today. Those are some floaters. You can find a yagua. You can find like a stage scene. Um, but not the scavenger trader today. Anyways, it's one place that it's the first place I go is Lost Home. This next place requires just a little tiny bit of travel. It's Wilson Auto Brothers Repair is the fast travel point. And once you get there, you are going to head... Uh, what is that? West and then south. Yeah, we'll call it that. Um, Wilson Auto Brothers Repair is actually a great place if you need to find those gas canisters. Just a little FYI. I got sidetracked. I thought that was a Starlight Creeper. And then uh, you'll usually run into some blood eagles here. Maybe mole miners. Sometimes they randomly spawn. So if you just head a little bit further south, you're going to find a little campsite. Uh, you just have to kind of watch out for it. I've run past it many times, but there's a couple tents and a campfire. And then you just take a look there. And we'll see if we have some love today. Nope, those are ghouls. So our next uh, fast travel point is Camden Park. With mole miners coming up, you're going to want to be traveling there anyways. Uh, to look, for, it's next weekend, next weekend. I think it starts January 25th. Should be on a community calendar somewhere um, because uh, mole miners like to spawn where Scorch spawn. So Camden Park is a place you can look for them. And right outside Camden Park, if you head this way, there's also a spawn point for scavenger traders. It's possible sp spawn point, I should add. So you just head down this wall if you don't want to, um, if you go further kind of to the left of where I am, there's that big space and there tends to be enemies that spawn there, but this way you don't need to worry about it. There is nobody here and that happens too sometimes. Oh, these are the bullies. That's one of the scenes I was talking about. Yeah, so you can just loot those if you want to. And then we'll just head to the next place. So the next spawn point is Overlook Cabin just a bit east from that point up the hill. So you just pop up here and there's a tent and a campfire or cook stove, whatever. And we'll see. Sometimes you can, you can see them on the map. So there's something there. And it is a scavenger trader. Let's see what she has. So the scavenger traders can have different things. Oh, this one does have apparel. However, they will not always have this rare apparel that they look that you're looking for, like that hunter's long coat or the long shoreman outfit. 
Uh, this one had the winter jacket and jeans for me, so I'm gonna pick it up. It's not as hard to find, I feel, as a longshoreman outfit, and especially the hunter's long coat, but I'll pick it up. And uh, then just check the miscellaneous items. I'm not sure why I went to junk, but they didn't. she didn't have the bobby pin box. So um, any of them can have it, as far as I understand. So the next place I'm gonna go to, um, there's a spot, you just have to tra um, travel to that 98 NAR regional. And so it's a little bit up from there, but not too far. So you're kind of just gonna turn around um, from where your fast travel point is and head this way. So you can see there's cultists up there. I usually try and avoid them just to save time. Um, I can't, I guess we'll see in a minute, but there are, there is like a squirrel spawn here. There's like three of them. And if you throw that butcher's bounty on, uh, you can loot more off the bodies. And I think I actually show it here. So if you just go up on the hill and maybe pop some berry mint hats, uh, you'll see those. Uh, just if you're trying to make tasty squirrel stew, um, it's a, it's one of the places where you can, if you want to hunt for the squirrels, you can. Oh, there they are. Wow, that took me longer than expected. Yeah, so you can get your squirrels. So there's three there. And then you're gonna look for this tall tower and down to the right, you'll see a tent there. And I'm just gonna pop down and we'll see who's there. Uh, I don't think there's anything there actually. Nope, and sometimes they're empty. Yeah, just uh, some dead cultists. Okay. Sometimes if I'm gonna be farming, I just put my marker there. It just makes it easier when I'm on the ground looking for it. Okay, this next place is at Wavy Willard's. And um, just a reminder, so scavenger traders, it's not always gonna be apparel. Sometimes they'll have armor or sometimes they'll have weapons or chems or foods, recipes. So even if you find a scavenger trader, it's not necessarily gonna be the apparel one, which can be kind of disappointing. Anyways, you can see we traveled to Wavy Willards and then the spot is kind of just up over this hill. Um, I have found the scavenger trader here a handful of times. It's not as common for me. And then we'll see who's here. And there is nobody here, but there's a pile of wood and again, tents. So next place. Okay, this is the last place that I'm gonna show. And that is, come on, move the map over. Um, it's near Anchor Farm. I just have to find the spot. Apparently, you can also find the responder vendor bot, which I haven't talked about at all because I can never find them. So I am not the person to share advice on that. But apparently around Anchor Farm is one of their possible spawns. But, oh, you're going the wrong direction. So if you head down this road, it's kind of across uh, from Anchor Farms. And then there's like a little kind of camp area to the left. And there is nothing there today. And that happens. So the nice thing is like 15, 20 minutes, you can hit all these places again and they will have changed. So you can farm the same server, right? You can, you can look for the scavenger traders, do some events, come back and do it again. You don't have to server hop. And there are a few other spots. Actually, I, there's a lots of other possible spawn spots, but I find these ones are the easiest to get to quickly. So like I said, if you wanna do it in between events, um, it's not gonna take up a lot of your time and you don't feel like you're just constantly grinding for the apparel vendor. 
apparel vendor. Hopefully this has been helpful. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments. Uh, otherwise, I will see you guys next Saturday. Thank you.